Joe's Aquarium. In today's video, I will be showing you three different ways on how to do water changes to your aquarium. And let's get straight into it with the first way to do water changes for your aquarium is this right here. A normal, regular python that has this little piece on it right here, which is pretty much a automatic um, siphoner. You press this and have this side in a tank and squeeze on this, it will bring water from this through the tube into your bucket, taking water out from your tank and putting it in your bucket. Easy way to take water out of your, your tank fast and efficiently. The second way on how to do water changes is a sink python. What I mean by this is a python that I'm currently using to fill up my Oscar Aquarium. That is pretty much a bigger version of your regular python, but it attaches to your sink. You can see right here, it goes all the way in all that tube to go straight to my sink here, which you can actually pull water out and put water in by this little valve here. All right, everybody, like I just said there, there's a way to put water in the tank and take water out of the tank using the giant uh, sink siphon. What I'm going to show you is how it works on putting water into the tank. Right here, you have the top of the siphon and my quarantine one fish tank. We're going to leave that right in, close the lid right on top of it, and just leave it for there. And then we're going to go over to the sink to where you can see the valve right on the bottom. You're going to want to pull it up and turn it. And that, once it's turned fully, should mean it's going to push water out back into the tanks. Now what you want to do is add a little bit of cold water and a little bit of hot water. And if you add, you don't want to add too much hot water because hot water is known to contain some bad minerals in it and that can be harmful to your fish. But anyways, in just a couple seconds, actually already, you can see it is filling up with water right out of that tube there. But anyways, now it is time to give you a little bit of a montage of this tank filling up. See you in a second. All right, everybody, as you can see here, the tank is completely full and is done with its water change. Now we just gotta put everything back to normal and turn off the light as you always should when doing water changes. We're going to move on to the next strategy, which is the regular tube siphon here. You're going to want to take your bucket, doesn't matter on the size, mine's just a big trash can, and you will see why in just a minute. We're going to attach this siphon to my 20 gallon long South American Sacred grow tank. We're going to take this little piece here, throw it into the bucket, and we're left with this black sort of tubish thing here. I'm going to show you what you do with this right now. What you're going to want to do is squeeze it. You should actually start to see water come right through. You can see it right there going through that pipe. And until there's no air left, you want to keep squeezing this thing. And it will start suctioning the water from your tank. I'm going to leave a, this also on a montage to show you how, to get, how long this takes to get the water out of the tank. It does it really fast and it is really efficient. Everybody, I have gotten the tank to officially the level I want it to be at. So all you have to do to get this thing to stop suctioning the water is take it right out of the tank, let the water that was in the tube flow out, and hold it up. Let me put you shoes right there. Take this little black thing right here. For me, it's at least black to use. I don't know what color it would be. But this little squishy thing here, you squeeze it, and it will actually clear out the entire tube of water 
so you don't have to worry about water getting all over the floor and done right there no water completely clean and easy way to do your water changes on to the third and by far my favorite way to do water changes all right everybody for the third method of water changes we will be doing it to my 40 gallon breeder african cichlid show tank we're going to need our water pump as seen in the intro there the third method is our water pump it is the fastest way to take water out of the tank by far uh for example it used to take me around 10 to 15 minutes for the sink siphon to fully drain or not fully drain to do a water change on my uh, 75 stingray tank and now it takes around two to three minutes to get officially like 25 percent of the water out of the tank before i put this in the tank we're going to be lifting the lid because if you do not know the 40 gallon breeder some reason has the heaviest lid out of all of the um breeders i don't even know it's heavier than my 75 stingray tank and um it's atrocious but anyways back to the water pump we're going to take the water pump and bring it right up to the top which let all that water leak right there bring it right into the tank and just leave it there that's pretty much it as i also am doing this i want to also mention my cichlid tank is technically still in the cycling form it is cycled but i want to keep it dim on the um what's it called water change because of the recent filter change that's what it was but anyways we will be sucking the water out by plugging the pump into my wire right now and you should immediately see the water come right out there we go it's coming right out into the bucket I want it around right there. And once it hits there, I'm perfect and it's good. I just want to show you the flow on this thing. That is amazing flow right there. You can see this is water. That's not part of the tube. It is by far the fastest way to do your water change on any aquarium size. Uh, also, they get bigger and smaller. So if you want it for like a 10 gallon aquarium, you can do it. As you can see, we're already done. Uh, just to let you know, I didn't even need to show a time lapse on this one. It just did it itself. So there you go. The tank is officially the amount I needed. And that was like two seconds. Not even kidding. You just can even see it and clip me on that. It really was. Uh, like two seconds and we're done now what you want to do is take your tube or sink tube and pretty much put it in the top of the tank and start putting water in it and you're done the putting water will actually take longer than taking out water as you can see the pump is definitely the superior water change tool um, and they get smaller and bigger for whatever tank size you need. It is by far my favorite way to do water changes. And it just makes your life a lot easier. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will be sure to see you in the next Joe's Aquarium video. Bye-bye, everyone.